Why are you here? What do you want? Uh, come in. Thank you. I completely forgot you were coming. Um, how are you? Yeah, fine, thanks. Good. Just about coping with the heat. It's so oppressive, isn't it? Oh, I'm hardly sleeping, but it's the same for everyone. How is everything? Fine. Fine. And the children? Uh, Abby and Tom are with Jonathan for two weeks. Oh. Yeah, Abby was so keen to leave. Well, you know, I think she's just missing him. Mm. We're still in the midst of settling custody and it's taking forever. I hate to add your burdens, but I wondered if you'd um, thought of The that. summer fair. Yeah. <laughs> I haven't forgotten. <laughs> Whatever you need. Ah, wonderful news. Did you manage to find any donations for the toy sale? I did ask Abby and Tom. I don't suppose either will notice if I cleared half their toys away. They've both got so much. Um, I'll get straight on with it. Yeah, anything would be appreciated. Uh, but can I get you anything? Um, tea, coffee, juice? Uh, Something stronger? <laughs> no, no thanks. I've got a lot of doors to knock on. But, um, mm -hmm. Before I go, actually, can I take your picture? You're the only one without a mugshot. Sure. I thought I'd gotten away with it. <laughs> Afraid not. Mm -mm. I'll just sort my camera out. I'm um, sorry about the second edition. I'll have it with you in a couple of days. Sorry it's taken me longer than usual. I've just had so much marking to do. That's the joys of promotion for you. More work, more stress. <laughs> so you're ahead now? Just of the geography department. I need it really to keep this place on. Perhaps I should be thinking about downsizing. Give up teaching maybe, like half the people I trained with, the sensible ones. Well, you've got two kids, you need the space. I feel like I may have overburdened myself. 
If you need any help finishing off the edition, I could always ask Sandra. Oh no, it's okay. Um, I quite enjoy it, really. I just uh, need you to remind me of the exact amount raised at the charity mm. walk last month. I think it was around 2,800 and something, but I'll send you the exact figure later. Great. <laughs> right. Are you ready? Yep, ready. <laughs> okay. Say cheese. Cheese. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, hang on, something's gone wrong. Oh. Mm. What is it? Not sure, I think there's something wrong with my camera. Well, do you know what, just, um, I'll get my iPad. You can use that. Oh. I'll save you sending over the images later. Oh, great. And just press there. Okay, let's try again. Mm -hmm. Right, say cheese. Cheese. <laughs> is that my good side? <laughs> of course. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this will look great. Photo of the editor. <laughs> Super. <laughs> right, I'd best be off. Lots to do and all that. Well, um, thanks for calling over, Father. Yeah, no problem. And listen, any time you need anything, anyone to talk to, whatever, just, you know, just give me a ring. What is it? <laughs> Nothing. Um, I'll see you soon. Bye. Bye. Just recording this for my notes. There we are. Right. My name's Mark. What's your name? Tell him your name, darling. Simon. That's a very nice name. Now, Simon, can you tell me why you've come to see me today? No? Tell Mark about your friend, Simon. Is this a friend from school? No, he's not. He's invisible. Only I can see him. What is your friend called? He's called Socks, isn't he, Simon? Socks? That's a funny name. He doesn't like me talking about him. And why is that? I don't know. Can you tell me about your other friends from school? Hello? Oh, hello, darling. How are you? Yeah, how, how, how are you getting on? You having a nice time with your dad? Tom okay? Oh, good. Oh, yeah, I've got your beautiful card. 
I'm not to open it until the day. Of, co of course, darling. But uh, we'll have a proper celebration when you're back in a week. Yeah. Abby, I was clearing up your messy bedroom and I found some tapes and a tape player. Where did you get that from? Found it in the basement. I told you not to go down there. You know it's dangerous. guide through this soothing meditation. Get yourself into a comfortable position and we're ready. Take a deep breath in and out. Breathe in and out. Feel your chest rise with every breath. In and out. You are completely relaxed. You are in a place that is very special to you. You are standing in a beautiful garden filled with flowers. You take a moment to look around yourself. The sun is warm and the air is deliciously cool on your skin. Ahead of you is a gate. On the other side is a quiet woodland. You hear birds singing and feel very content, very relaxed. You are relaxed. You are completely at peace. Completely at peace. Nature all around you. You take in your surroundings. There is beautiful nature all around you. As you explore your surroundings, you hear something. You hear the tinkle of a little bell. The bell signifies your guide. They will walk with you, ensuring that you follow the right path. Ensure that you are completely safe, secure, and relaxed. by the edge of the water and gaze at your reflection, feeling safe, at your reflection. feeling relaxed. I am the fire, and you are the lamb. Take a step closer. Take a step closer. Yeah. 
He wouldn't like me to tell you. It's all right. I won't tell anyone about what you say to me in this room. He hides socks around the house. Sometimes mine and sometimes mum and dad's. So why do socks like to hide things? He thinks it's funny to get me in trouble. Can I speak to him? No. Why not? Because he's shy and doesn't like talking to grown-ups. Look, I don't find this very funny. Very good. 
The only sound you can hear is the ticking of the metronome. You're completely relaxed. Now, can you tell me your name? Simon. Simon Thompson. Very good. Now I'd like you to tell me about your friend Socks. When did you meet him? He came to visit me in the garden. He wanted to play a game. What game did he want to play? Hide and seek. Does Socks stay in your house? Sometimes. And where is he now? Is he back at the house? No, he's here. He's here with us? Yes, he's sitting on the floor by my chair. Hello Socks, my name is Mark. I'm a friend of Simon's. I don't want to speak to you. It's all right. Simon's not been very happy, and I'd like to find out why. I was hoping maybe you could help me. Hello, Mark. Am I speaking to Socks? Yes. I'm a friend. Simon's friend. Where are your mummy and daddy? They're not here. They're in the ground. Are you telling me that your parents are dead?
Hello? Oh, hi, Claire. I was just about to text you. Oh, he is. Oh, it was probably a summer cold. How rotten. Look, look, look it can't be helped. Don't worry. Uh, we'll go out for my birthday another time. Yeah, I'll, um, I'll probably still take myself out, you know, get some fresh air. Might go for a stroll in the park. Oh gosh, they him coughing. Oh look, you better go. You know, go and tend to the patient. No, it's fine, don't worry. And uh, oh, thanks for the card. It's really nice of you. Okay. All right, love. Bye. Thank you. I'm not sure if they're helping. How is Simon getting on? He seems to be very angry. He just screamed at me this morning. He had this awful look in his eyes. I was so upset. He's been suspended from school. Suspended? What for? Scaring the other children. He drew these. He drew these at school? Yes. They're so violent. The headmaster said that I've been letting him watch horror films. And have you? No! Absolutely not! I would never allow him to watch anything unsuitable. I, I don't understand why he would draw such awful things. The blood. Oh, how can he have this in his head? I, I, I can't! I think the hypnosis may be unlocking something deep inside his psyche. Not just the drawings. He's been talking to someone else. Okay. He just kept saying Sheets. Mr. Sheets. But there's something else troubling you, isn't there? Yes. Well, no. I don't know. It's all all right. You can tell me. It's fine. It's just... I've been... Hearing noises, in the house I mean, at, at night mostly, I've, I've been having vivid, awful dreams that there's someone in the house watching us. Well, you're upset and you're worried about Simon. You'd be surprised how many parents or loved ones develop these sort of symptoms at the same time. I promise you, Simon is fine. We just need to get to the root of what's been making him so withdrawn. This new imaginary friend could be the key to what's going on and I think another hypnotherapy session could shed some light on what's been troubling him. Jonathan? Hello, John? Abby?
Jonathan, it's uh, me. Yeah, I'm fine. Uh, is uh, Abby there, please? I'd like to speak with her. Yes, it is important. No, look, I, I just need to ask her something. What do you mean you're not going to disturb her? She's sleeping. But, but it's the middle of the day. Nightmares. Did she tell you what it was about? Oh, poor thing. And Tom? Is he okay? Out on his bike, yeah. Oh, fine. <laughs> no, 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 don't bother. Look, can you just get Abby to give me a call when she wakes up, please? Thank you. All right. Bye. Father. Are you alright? Yeah, fine. You look like you've seen a ghost. Oh, I've been listening to these tapes and it's just creeped me out. Tapes? Yeah, they were left behind by the previous tenant. He was a therapist. Did you know him? No, I've not been here much longer than you and I think this house was empty when I took over from Steve. Yeah, it was empty for six months, I think. Sounds like you should stop listening to them if they've upset you this much. I know, they're, they're just, they're fascinating. Oh, it's silly, really. I, it's just me. I, I, I get scared when I'm on my own. 
I've been looking forward to this week of solitude for ages and now it's here, I just feel abandoned, lonely. Hey, you're not alone, I'm here. Right, I have some things for you. Oh. Ah. <laughs> what a lovely doll. I don't know where it came from. I found it in the basement. I think it's creepy. Could be valuable. It's not. I checked on eBay. <laughs> I'll be glad to see the back of it. Well, we'll find it a nice new home, I'm sure. Mm. Hey, it's your birthday next week, am I right? Yeah, but I'm not doing anything until the kids are back. <laughs> well, I've got a little something for you. Ta-da! <laughs> Cake! <laughs> Oh, that's really so, so kind. You shouldn't have. Well, everyone should have cake on their birthday, candles and all. <laughs> that really is very sweet of you, Father. Matthew. Matthew. Um, I'll just I'll put it in the fridge. <laughs> Come to the service on Sunday. I'm sorry. The Sunday service. It's it's been a while since we've seen you. I meant to ask you yesterday. I, I know. I, I I'm being lazy. Sorry. No, I didn't mean it like that. It's just a few of the parishioners were asking after you and the kids. And I know Alice would love to see you. We really appreciate all the work you do on the magazine. All right. Great. We'll see you then. I'll best be off. I think Harriet number five has some boxes for me. Uh, do you need any help? No, we should be all right. We've got the van parked around the corner, so we should be fine. Yeah. Um, goodbye, Father. Matthew, I'll give my love to Alice. Will do. A uh, father, are you doing anything tonight? Tonight? No, nothing planned. Why? Would you like to come for dinner? Uh, Alice too. Oh, no, I couldn't impose. Oh, no, not, not at all. Um, I, I've got more than enough, and it would be a shame to waste it. Oh, well, if you're sure, that'd be lovely. Just be me, though. Alice is away at her sister's at the moment. Right. Great. Um, dinner for two. At eight. Great. Sounds good. I'll see you then. Bye. Who are you? Why won't you leave me alone? Go. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. It's gone. There was something watching me from the door, but it's vanished. Are you going to hypnotize me again? Yes. Your mum said it would be okay. She's right there. Okay. Focus on the ticking sound, Simon, and close your eyes. That's right. You feel very relaxed. Now, can you tell me your name? Simon. I want to ask you if your friend Socks is here with us. Socks isn't here. Where is he? He's hiding. Hiding in the dark. Why is he hiding? Because he's scared. What's he scared of? Wouldn't you like to know? Is it because of Sheets? Don't say his name. Tell me about Mr. Sheets, Simon. I told you not to say his name. Don't say his name. All right, Don't Simon, say take his a name. deep breath. You're completely safe. What's going on? Is he all right? He's fine, but I need complete quiet. Simon, are you there, Simon? Simon isn't here anymore. Who am I speaking to? The devil. Oh my god. Am I speaking to Sheets? You stupid fucking fool. Sheets, I want to speak to Simon. I told you, Simon isn't here anymore. What do you want? To wash my face with your blood. Simon is dead. Simon is dead and rotting. 
Oh, thanks. It's uh, nothing special. <laughs> oh, humid tonight, isn't oh, it? My place is absolutely roasting. <laughs> I think there's a storm brewing. This needs to break. Uh, well, um, it's nearly ready, so oh, take a seat. Thank you. Oh, I um, I brought you this. Thank you. Um, do you mind doing the honours? Oh, um, <laughs> sure. This is delicious. <laughs> Thank you. My pleasure. <laughs> it's nice to have company. <laughs> Actually, it's really good just to get to know you a bit. I always wondered when you joined the parish. You're so young. Um, no, there's quite a few of us young'uns around, I think, these days. Mm. You look like you've got something on your mind. Well... You know, um, I guess I, I did want to ask you something. It's silly, really, um, but it has been bothering me. Mm. Those tapes I mentioned? The tapes that were recorded in the house? The tapes that you were going to stop listening to? Mm. Well, they were in Abby's room. She'd hidden them. She found them in the basement. She's been listening to them. I've heard them, these horrible voices. Voices? An awful voice. It spoke through a child, a, a boy named Simon. He was in a trance, hypnotised. I don't understand. It's on the tapes. Recorded in this house by a therapist. It's called me on the phone. It must be someone else, someone playing a joke. Can I listen to it? Yeah. I'll just... I'll just go and get it. That loud banging. It was the front door. It looked like someone was there. I could see whoever it was in silhouette right in front of me. But when I opened the door, there was no one there. You must have been sent for more to all the rest of it. Hallowed be thy name. Leave me alone. This is different. This wasn't on there before. Is that you? I looked it up, it's called EVP. There are loads of recordings on the internet, but none like these. So if this is picking up e EVP. E EVP, we'll be able to record it, right? To the voice on this tape, I would like to prove that Rose is alone in this house. Can you please speak to us? Who are you? Can you tell us who you are? Why are you talking to my daughter? What do you want? Who are you? Can you tell us who you are? Why are you talking to my daughter? What do you want? Dead. No. No. Nothing. You're looking for answers where there aren't any. Do yourself a favour. Get rid of the tapes. Chuck them out. Okay. Hey, I'll do it. I'll take them with me. Yes. Yes, that, that would be great. Thank you.
dead. He is dead and rotting. Your baby's dead, and soon you will be too. Make him stop! Make him stop! I can't bear this. Make him stop it! Wake him up! Why is he waking up?
understand how they got here. I put them with the other donations in the church hall. There's something in this house. There's something very wrong here. I thought it was all in my imagination, but I know it's not. I had a dream last night about this house. When you called, I knew there was something wrong. I was here and it was, it was very dark. And although the house was silent, I knew I wasn't alone. Who are you? I am fire. Why are you here? You must leave. Fire. You have no place here. Our Father, who art in heaven. I was going crazy. We have to try to talk to it. I don't think that's a very good idea. Why don't you come and stay with me just for a few days? It's been talking to Abby, scaring her. That's why she was so desperate to leave. It, it, she's been having nightmares. I have to find out what it wants. And I don't know. Get it to leave. Do you know the Lord's Prayer? Yeah. Good. Hello, Socks. This is Rose, your friend. I have someone here who would like to speak with you. It's recording. Yes. Please speak to us. We need your help. Hello. Hello, this is Father Matthew. I'd like to speak to you. Can you tell us who is in this house with us? Please, tell us, who is Mr. Sheets and what does he want? Be very quiet. 
You felt it go past you? Yeah. It's incredible. It's gone. God bless the corners of this, of this house. God bless the shore open its wide, strangers and to kill. God bless each crystal to window pane that lets the sun shine in. The peace of man, the peace of God, the peace of love to all. Amen. God bless, God bless the corners of this house. God bless each door that opens wide to strangers and to kin. God bless each crystal window pane with the of sunshine. Amen. God bless the corners of this house. God bless each door that opens wide to strangers and to kin. God bless each crystal window pane with the of sunshine. Amen. Amen. It feels different, L like less oppressive. Like the air, the air's cleared. It's definitely gone. I can't believe it. <laughs> Me neither. Thank you. You're welcome. You know, it's always had an atmosphere in this house ever since we moved in. I guess it must have always been here. <laughs> I can't believe it. It just feels so different. It's gone. I'll be fine. It's, it's, it's definitely gone. Hello? Mum, it's me. Oh, hello, darling. How are you? You're up early. Are you calling to wish me a happy birthday? Socks asked me to call you. What? Socks is worried about you. It's fine, darling. He's gone. I know why you left and... It's all right. It's fine. He's gone. He's gone forever. Sox says it's a trick. Sox says he's waiting for you. Sox says he never left. He tricked you. Hello? 
Lead us not into temptation, 